Earth called the Blue Planet. 70% of its surface covered by the water of the oceans. This world is still unknown for us. The world inhabited by the extraordinary creatures. The depths of the oceans still hold lots of secrets. From cold Antarctic waters to sunny tropics of Palau. It's a journey through this beautiful but unexplored world. Seven amazing stories showing beauty and diversity of the ocean. Discover the unimaginable world filled with wonders. The Eastern Cape province in the northeast of South Africa is famous for its stormy waters, rich in life. This is Sudwana Bay, known for the divers thanks to its rich coral reefs and their diverse and bright inhabitants. Sudwana reefs are considered to be among the richest in Africa. The local fish are found here in whole shoals. Here we can meet a variety of reef inhabitants, from bright fish to poisonous stingrays. These tentacles belong to an anemone. Clownfish live in them. They have a special mucous membrane that protects them from stinging tentacles. The clownfish live in monogamous pairs and can change sex during their lifetime. If the female dies, the male changes sex and replaces her, remaining with a clutch of eggs for life. The moray eel spends most of her time in her burrow, sticking head out, opening mouth and waiting for food. But sometimes she comes outside to hunt. There are about 100 species of moray eels in nature. They all differ from each other depending on the species and habitat. Some species can reach two and a half or three meters in length, but only a small part of their body looking outside. This Mori sticked her head outside and opened her mouth, waiting for prey, whether it's a fish or a small shark. The Ampera angelfish, one of the brightest fish in the world. The bright color indicates that this is an adult. The young ones have less bright colors. This is a parrotfish. She feed on corals that grow in the reef. With her powerful beak, she crunches corals and digests them, separating them from the other side, in the form of the sand. Reefs sometimes suffer significant wounds, but corals grow quickly in sun-drenched waters. 
The Titan triggerfish is one of the largest local fish. He can be very aggressive if disturbed. But now he just decided to clean up his territory. This is potato grouper, one and a half meters in length and 100 kilograms in weight. He arrived at the cleaning station. Now there is no queue and the cleaning ras can safely serve him. The ras gets food and the grouper gets a tonic and very comfortable message, especially in hard to reach places. Kilometers of colorful coral reefs attract tens of thousands of divers from all over the world. It is home to 95 species of corals, sponges and other invertebrates and more than one and a half thousand species of fish. However, right now, the health of reefs around the world is deteriorating at an unprecedented rate. It's all the fault of global climate change, to which we have a direct relationship. If we succeed, we can prevent it. And if not, then the reefs may disappear, along with their colorful inhabitants. Near of Cape Town is one of the largest fur seal rookeries in the world. They gather here by the thousands. And they really like to swim close to the divers, who come here to look at them. On land, fur seals seem clasmy, but in the water they completely change. On nature they resemble dolphins, they are very playful and curious. These are Cape fur seals, the largest of all. Males reach a length of 2.5 meters, and females grow only up to 1.8 meters. But being the largest of all fur seals, they make very fast and graceful movements in the water. Surprisingly, their Latin name means the smallest. However, they live not only on the coast of South Africa, but also off the southern coast of Australia. In the 19th century, this species was put on the verge of extinction, and now there are about one and a half million individuals on the coast of South Africa and about 50,000 more live off the coast of Australia. The life of fur seals may seem sweet, but it's still not safe to swim here. Great white sharks prowl along the coast one of the most dangerous predators in the ocean. Seals should be on their guard, otherwise they will become easy prey. To the northeast of Cape Town is the wild coast. There doesn't seem to be any life here. But it is here that one of the most amazing phenomena happens every year, not only in the ocean, but also in the whole world of nature as whole. The Great Migration of Sardines Every year, from May to July, sardines gather in huge shoals off the southeastern coast of South Africa and begin migrating north along the eastern coast. The length of the one such shell can reach 7 kilometers, width 1.5 kilometers, height 30 meters. The total mass of the fish may exceed the mass of an entire herd of wildebeest. These are the largest shoals of fish in the whole world. Their numbers serve as protection for them. 
When there is a lot of prey, it is difficult for a predator to choose a specific target and chase it. Usually, the warm Agulhas current coming from the Indian Ocean opposes the cold Bengal current. But for a short period of time, cold water has displaced the warm current. And in this short period of time, sardines gather in shells and begin to migrate. They migrate only along the eastern Cape province, through the wild coast, up to the shores of KwaZulu-Natal province. But the exact reason of the migration is still unknown to anyone. Perhaps sardines make this journey to lay eggs in higher waters. But of course, such a gathering does not go unnoticed. Predators appeared not far from the coast. A part of common dolphins. They found a shoal of sardines using echolocation and are now aiming for it at full speed. They note that sardines always migrate at this time. Other pods of dolphins also join the hunt. Soon they unite in a superpod of 5,000 strong. This is the largest army of predatory animals in the world. From a height we can fully estimate their numbers. Dolphins swim together along the coast until they find sardines. Or until sardines find them themselves. Soon the dolphins found what they were looking for and are preparing to launch an attack. Dolphins are very intelligent animals, so they use intelligence, not strength, to get prey. Dolphins swim under the shoal and separate a small group from it. After that, sharks get involved. Dolphins create a so-called bait ball from a shoal. Now sardines have nowhere to go. Dolphins drive sardines to the surface to prevent them from going deep. And in parallel cut off their escape routes with the streams of bubbles that they release from the blowholes. Surrounded by predators, the ball of sardines turns inside out. Now, the sardines' defensive strategy is working against them. Predators attack not only underwater, but also from the air. For sardines, Cape Gannets came here, which strike an accurate blow from the air, like bombs dropped by a plane. From a height of 30 meters, they dive into the water at a speed of 100 km per hour, grabbing sardines at a depth of 10 meters. Each of the predators gets its share of fish. In the following days, sardines will lose many similar battles, but in the end they will still win thanks to their numbers. The sardine population in South Africa is so high that the survivors will still continue their life cycle even despite the large number of dead in this battle. The sardine strategy ensures that quite a lot of them will survive. But for these unlucky fish, that's the end.
and once it's all over, the predators go their separate ways again. But next year, they will return here, and another sardine run will be completed.